Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spy Cat, and I'm doing another one of my favorite actors. I'm sure you guys know by the uh, Star Wars cover which actor this is. You guessed it right, Harrison Ford. He's a great actor. I loved him ever since Star Wars. I gotta stop saying I loved him ever since. That does not sound right. I loved his movies ever since Star Wars and the Indiana Jones series and uh, all the Star Wars movies. And he's just one of those actors that just any movie he's in is, like, great. You know what I mean? Pretty much. There's always bad movies. But for the most part, Harrison Ford's a man. And anyway, guys, he was born July 13th, 1942. He's 74 years old. Wow. He's getting pretty old. And he's from Chicago, Illinois, so I'm guessing he's pretty happy about the Cubs winning the World Series. But anyway, guys, I'm going to show you guys the uh, movies that I have, VHS and DVD. I don't think I have any Blu-rays of Harrison Ford movies, but uh, I'll show you my Harrison Ford movie collection. Starting from the earliest movies down to the latest movie that I have that he was in. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Anyway, guys, the first movie I'm going to uh, show you guys right now is Star Wars, which came out in 1977. The earliest movie that I can think of that he was in, I don't have it, is uh, American Graffiti, and that came out in 1973. But, um, hold on, let me see if I have that. Hold on. And it looks like I don't have it. I thought, I, you know what, I guess I saw it at, like, Goodwill or something like that. And I, it was one of those times where I was going to get it and I didn't get it. I didn't even realize Harrison Ford was in American Graffiti. Back to the video. But yeah, guys, 1977, he did Star Wars. Great movie. We all remember this one um, in 77. What's up with the focus? Let me focus in, guys. Hold on. There you go. A lot better. Um, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars came out with Harrison Ford. Which is why I'm doing that video. A Harrison Ford movies. Oh, I should have showed that one after this one. This is the original VHS copy right here. This is what we, re we remember in 1977 of the, the, the cover and poster when the movie first came out. This cover is just super cool, super um, bad. I'm trying not to cuss, guys. So you guys know it's bad. I'm not going to say bad, you know, but uh, it's cool, super cool. This is just a killer cover right here. I love this cover, um, and then we all know this is the second cover that came out, but um, this cover is freaking awesome, man. This is so cool. Love this cover. The artwork is just amazing. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't have the DVDs of Star Wars. Um, I found those at Goodwill for like a quarter each or something, so I had to get them. Um, to be honest, I liked them when I was a kid a little bit, but I never really was a Star Wars fan. Honestly, that's probably why I don't have the Star Wars in my uh, movie collection. But, um, yeah, Frisco Kid came out 1979. Yeah, this one came out in 1979. Um, I don't remember. I guess I got this because it had Harrison Ford in it. I haven't watched this yet. I guess it's like a Western comedy type of movie with Gene Wilder, rest in peace. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, a comedy, a Western comedy, I guess. And um, I haven't watched this one. I don't know if I got this in the dollar bin or what. But um, whatever. Frisco Kid. Yeah. And... Um, Empire Strikes Back. This one came out a year later in 1980. This is the original cover for that. And it's kind of cool because I got the plastic wrap around it, which really makes it really like doesn't get messed up like that uh, first Star Wars VHS uh, movie that I have, which I would love to have that in like perfect shape. And I just found that that was the one I could find. I couldn't pass it up, not having it in my collection. But um, this is pretty cool, man. This cover is really cool for Empire Strikes Back. And then, of course, I have the um, this cover that came out with that three-pack VHS set that I got at Goodwill or Amoeba or something like that. I like this cover, too, though. I, I kind of I like this cover. And then uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. 
came out in 1981, a year after that. And um, we all remember Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones movies. I also found this at Goodwill for um, it probably like 250. I think I got this for like 250. Pretty sure I did. And this is the Adventure Collection. It's got all the movies in there. This way I don't have to show this again. The only thing is somebody wrote an M on it. But uh, whatever. I got that. Oh, who cares? It's already fallen out of the package anyway. So let's see what the cover looks like in there. A Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, they kept the original cover. Pretty cool. And a year after that, guys, he was in E.T. And I don't even remember that he was in E.T. that much, but it says that he was in E.T. He plays a school principal in this one. And, um, you know, this is the original cover for E.T. Best best cover around, you know what I mean? Best movie around when I was a kid. And um, E.T. is just great. Steven Spielberg did this one. Fantastic movie. Love that I have the... Uh, original VHS tape and it's even got the um cool green colors on the uh, inside tape which is awesome that's an original and it's like heavy as heck um and I also have this one that I paid like I think 24.99 30 bucks for it's a really cool um DVD set with all the versions because if you guys remember um when they released this on DVD they took out a, a couple parts of the movie like the part where um where he's like getting the the scientists are like kind of messing they, they got him like half naked they're like i i guess that's why they took that part out because pg in the 80s uh wasn't pg like later on kind of thing so they kind of took out um on the dvds they took out um a couple of those scenes i know that scene's one of them the one where he's like they're do giving him all kinds of weird tests and his like shirts off and everything I, I heard that's why they took that out of the dvd versions because that's kind of pg-13 -y more than pg so if like parents like rent that movie for the kid or whatever on the dvd they could get mad i i don't know why they did that but they just did and this version has all the versions without um that taken out of but the uh, other versions don't and also in 1982, he uh, was in uh, Blade Runner. I got this director's cut. I actually got this at Goodwill, which is really cool because it was in, like, excellent shape. Um, or did I get this at Goodwill? I don't know. It seems like... I think I did. But it's really cool, man. This thing's awesome. Blade Runner is an awesome uh, sci-fi kind of fantasy type movie. Uh, great movie. And... Uh, the dude from American Me's in it, too. I didn't even realize that. It's a cool cool director's cut, you know? Pretty cool. And then in 1983, he was in uh, Return of the Jedi, which I have. I don't have the uh, old school cover of Return of the Jedi. I wish I did. But I just have this copy right here. And then I have this rare, uh, super rare uh, Star Wars to Jedi, the making of the saga, which is pretty cool that I have that. This probably came in like a set, maybe. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that on DVD. Might be an extra feature, maybe. And then in 1984, he was in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the second movie. Uh, great movie. We all remember this one as a kid. It's got the guy from Goonies in it. I think he's in Goonies. Pretty sure he's in Goonies. Love the original VHS copy of this cover, too, with that original uh, back picture on there. Awesomeness right there, guys. Um... And then he was in Witness a year after that, 1985. Oops, forgot to show the cover of the uh, Temple of the Doom that was in that. That was in that set I just showed you guys. Um, Witness came out in 1985. Um, he plays uh, Captain John Book. Whatever. I don't really remember much about this movie. I gotta watch this one. I can't believe I haven't seen this one, but I do have it in my collection. What's it like? Amish? Oh yeah, Amish. It's an Amish movie. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool. Let me know if you guys saw that one. I haven't seen that one. Um, he was in the Mosquito Coast with uh, River Phoenix in uh, 86. Got the snapback version of that. This is a good movie. Cool snapback one right there. Um, he was in Frantic, which came out in 1988. Pretty cool movie there. 
And then one year after that, in 1989, he was in The Last Cru Crusade, the uh, third movie to the Indiana Jones movies before like a dec over a decade later when they did the uh, new one. And love this original cover. You know how DVDs do. They don't keep the original cover. That's the one that was in the pack. And um, this cover is just, you just, this is like a nostalgic moment for me right now because this is just going back in the future right here looking at this original cover and uh, the original uh, pictures on the back. Really cool awesomeness. And then in 1990, guys, we're getting on to the Harrison Ford 90s movies now. First movie I have in the 90s is uh, Presumed Innocent, and I got the snapback version. This is kind of sex, looks like a sexy thriller, uh, maybe mystery movie, suspense type of movie. Maybe murder mystery. I haven't watched this one, but I do have it in my collection. And then in 1992, he was in Patriot Games. We all remember this action-packed movie right here. Great one. I remember I actually watched this. Um, I snuck watch it. I went... Um, I was supposed to be doing homework uh, with the foster parents I was with. And I remember I went to the library. And they had this movie in one of the um, movies to watch. So I watched it that way. And I remember the beginning. There was like a sexual part. And I didn't didn't want to watch it after that. Kind of weird. But um, that's what that's what I remember about this movie. And I remember as a kid, I was always uh, mad because the uh, actress, right, her, her that was in lots of kids' movies, I wanted to watch it just just because that. Because when I was a kid, I had a crush on this girl, the girl that's in Now and Then and all that. Uh, Monkey Trouble, I think that's her. But, um, yeah, whatever. Patriot Games, 1992. And then um, I, Clear and Present in Danger came out also in 1994. But I don't know why I don't have that one. I could have sworn that I had that one. But anyway, guys, he was in The Fugitive that came out in 1993. This is definitely one of my favorite Harrison Ford movies of all time. Uh, my parents uh, rented this when I was a kid. It was like the, one of the first PG-13 movies I ever watched. Um, and I loved it even as a kid when it came out. And I was really young when I watched this one. Um, pretty cool. It's got all the same pictures of the VHS tape. I remember that. Um... The Devil's Own came out in 1997 with Brad Pitt. I really don't remember much about this movie. Uh, Six Days and Seven Nights. Great movie. I love this movie when it came out in 1998. Um, it was a great movie, and I remember I was actually able to watch it because it was a PG-13 thir movie that Harrison Ford did because he did a couple R movies I couldn't watch, I remember. Um but yeah, Six Days and Seven Nights is a great movie. I absolutely love this movie. And I kind of backtracked, I guess, because this one came out in 98. I just showed that one. And this one came out in 1997. Uh, Air Force One, I got the super bit version of that. Great action movie. I remember I watched this when I was a, a kid, too. I was actually able to watch this R-rated movie when I was a kid. Uh, somehow, I guess my parents were fans of Harrison Ford. Uh, he's great, man. Harrison Ford's a man. But this movie was super great. Glenn Close is in this one. It, it's a great action movie. One of his best action movies. I love this thing. Um, let's see. And then I think this one came out in like 2000, the year 2000. He did What Lies Beneath. He did an excellent job in this movie. I absolutely... This is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Um, for sure, I saw this movie in the theater when I was uh, like 19 or, or no, I saw it when I was, I think I saw it when I was like, yeah, 18 or 19. Um, great movie, man. Or no, I, yeah, no, yeah, because this was PG-13. That's right. Yeah, so I did see this when I was, no, I was actually uh, 16 when I saw this movie. My bad. But this is a great movie, man. Scary, creepy movie, man. Um... He was in K-19. This movie came out in 2002, two years later. I don't re really remember much about that one. Firewall. This movie came out... Um, let's see when this one came out. This one came out in 2006. Uh, pretty good movie. He came back with this movie. I was surprised. He did a good job in Firewall. And I couldn't find my Crossing Over. I have the movie Crossing Over, which came over in 2009. But I, I just couldn't find it. It might be in my Ray Liotta uh, movies when I do his little bit of movies I have of him. 
Um, and then he was in, oh, you know what? I forgot. Um, hold on, guys. And in uh, 2008, let me get some light, 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 a little bit of more light in there. 2008, he did the newest uh, Indiana Jones movie, which is pretty good. I got to say it was a good movie. Definitely not comparable to the f earlier ones, just because that's just how it is. But, but uh, The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was pretty good. That was 2008. He also was in Cowboys and Aliens. This is this is the newest movie that I have with Harrison Ford in it, Cowboys and Indians. And it was a good movie, man. Great sci-fi action movie right here. And uh, you got Daniel Craig in it right there. And yeah, that's my Harrison Ford collection, guys. And um, actually, he oh no, he was in Bruno too. And I, I think I have Bruno... Um, I gotta buy Ender's Game and, uh, 42, but I don't have those movies, and I don't have Star Wars, the f oh, no, I do. I have the Steel Book of, uh, hold on. No, I sold that one, that's right. So I guess I don't, I don't have the n new one. I could have sworn that I also had, uh, Extraordinary Measures. Or no, I just see that a lot, because it's in the dollar bin. Maybe I'll get that one. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Harrison Ford movie collection, and uh, that's it. See you guys next time.